Hi, in this video we will continue with our preferences image windows. Now the first option here uh, use dot for dot by default. I recommend you leave this on. Basically what this means is that uh, every pixel of the image will be mapped to a pixel on the screen. The next option marching and speed refers to when you make a selection uh, your selection outline is presented by these marching ants so you can change the speed from here if you want to the next options are resize windows on zoom or resize window on image size change this basically means that every time you resize uh, or zoom or resize your image your window size also will change this is not something you want to do in most cases um, Another thing is initial zoom ratio. Now here, let's close this so I can show you. If you leave it on one on one, actually one on one is not the default setting. The default setting is to leave it, um, to fit it on screen. Now if it's one on one, like it's right now, when you open an image, the image will open to the original size it won't be fit into a window like that you will be zoomed in or showing a hundred percent of the image now just a second um, your default setting is fit to window so every time you open an image this image will fit to a window will not uh, get opened on its full size. Let's try that. You see how the image is, is uh, zoomed in a way that you can see the whole image. Um, the next option is uh, uh, panning with uh, your space bar. Now if you are zoomed in in an image, for example 100% here, and you can use your space bar to pan around, which can be very useful. You can choose not to, to take action when you hold your space bar or you can switch to a move tool. I recommend you leave it the way it is. Uh, here you have the um, show brush outline option, show pointer for paint tool option. Let's check this out. Show brush outline. As you can see here, this is the brush outline. If you uncheck this, you can see that. Also, you can choose to see your pointer or not see it. You can choose uh, the pointer mode to be tool icon, tool icon with crosshair, for example, crosshair only. You can choose to be fancy or black or white. It's entirely up to you how you want to use these options. Wherever it's, it makes you feel better when you work, you can adjust them from here. 